Hello, everybody. Welcome to Racine. Welcome to February. Thank goodness January's over because it wasn't that much fun, let's be honest. We've got stuff to talk about around January the 31st on the field and off it. Let's start off the field with the deadline day signing. Pat Nevin of Olivier Giroud. I have to say, I've always been a fan. Um, his numbers that he scores are all pretty good, um, whether it was with Montpellier or with Arsenal. But I think he's a focal point, and I think it's exactly the sort of thing that we need as a team. And if Morata's not going to be available, or, you know, a little bit of an injury, or needs a bit of a rest, there's nothing better. And I'll tell you what, Olivier, he'll want to be number one. And these are the first exclusive pictures of him at training. He was doing training with Willian, uh, with everyone else having the day off on Thursday. On Wednesday, training with David Luiz, uh, a fellow Brazilian boy. I know there's Italian in there as well, but really he's Brazilian. Uh, was Emerson the new backup left back? Well, for now he's backup. We don't know so much about him. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what he does. You know, to be honest, everyone's saying the same thing, and I think it's correct. Alonso needs a bit of a rest now and again. It's an amazing amount of time he's spent on the field. We've had enough hamstrings and injuries already. We don't want that to Marcus because he's been an important player for us. So definitely good about backup. So that's the first time they have worked in their Chelsea uniforms and here's the first words they gave on arriving at the club. Basically for me the most important thing has been talking with um, the coach Antonio Conte. I uh, really feel like that uh, he really wants me. Uh, he really wants me to work with me and um, obviously Chelsea is a, is a massive club so uh, it was a great opportunity for me to um, to start a new adventure with uh, with Chelsea, yeah? and I'm very proud to, to sign here. Escolhi vir para o Chelsea é pela grande equipe que é, pela grande história que tem, e hoje estou realizando mais um sonho na minha vida de estar vestindo a camisa desse grande clube. Mensagem que eu deixo para os torcedores do Chelsea que aqui do Emerson nunca vai faltar empenho e vontade de vencer. Podem contar comigo. Vamos junto nessa caminhada. A busy January window then with Ross Barkley coming in as well. Now Olivier and Emerson were both presented to the crowd here at the Bournemouth game. We're not going to talk much about it because it was pretty awful, let's be honest. As you can see here, Cundy's facial reaction sums it up. But now in words, Pat, well, we look at Jason. Um, I think Jason actually took it a little bit better than some of the fans there. <laughs> He's really fed up. And it was a hard one for us all to take. But to be fair, that was a bit of an experimental team. I don't think we'll see the team looking like that again with Maratta and with Giroud and with a number of other players being back as well. But yes, Jason, we feel we are paying. Yeah, they will be centre forwards in games to come. Maybe even two, who knows? Um, before that, it was Newcastle, the highlight of that. It was a pretty comfortable cup tie, let's be honest, with Hull next in round five here on a Friday night. The highlight was Alonso's free kick. He is ridiculously good at these now. Even the ones that he doesn't score are quite close. When he gets it in that position, it's, I don't know if there's anyone better in the Premier League just now. He, they are fantastic. They are just about unstoppable, those hits. There was a debut in that match, and that would be the other positive coming out of the week with the Bournemouth game, would be Callum Hudson-Odoi playing in FA Cup and Premier League. 17 in November he was, and he just looked like he was ready. It was just a moment in St. half, and you look down at Ampadu and Hudson-Odoi both on, and both looking as comfortable and as confident as you can believe. And uh, no, but the pace that he showed, particularly when even when he came on against Bournemouth, the pace that he showed there, the real belief in himself, running the players, um, he's got a big, big future at this club. Interesting to see if he's one of the ones that does eventually go, go out and loan, or one of the ones that actually just stays and makes a name for himself straight. Wouldn't be surprised if it was the latter. So he has been missing from the youth team's ranks of late and they've been involved in all sorts of competitions, including a cup competition of their own, the new Premier League Cup. And they're through to the last four. They had an incredible tie with Sunderland that had uh, two penalties that were scored in it and one that was saved right at the end of extra time to preserve a 2-1 victory for the Blues. So well done them. And they are going to face Everton in the semi-final. Now on the subject of youngsters, it is time for our weekly slot of... Game of Lourdes. Last season, Game of Loans was mostly about Tammy Abraham. This season, coming to the fore, it actually seems to be Mason Mount. He scored again for Vitesse. He's doing really well out there and he's actually won an award for the Player of the Month. Jeremy Boger has scored for Birmingham. He managed that in the win over Sunderland. 
and Nathan, who's come back from Vitesse, where he was with Mason Mount, has gone out on loan to Benalenses in Portugal and he scored a dinger against Benfica, so well done him. On deadline day, quite a few others went out, so good luck to these. Charlie Musonda, you knew about going to Celtic for a while. Mishi Batshuayi to Dortmund, best of luck to him. Kennedy started straight away, having gone to join with Rafa at Newcastle. And Casey Palmer, right on deadline, off to Derby County, having had an injury hit first half of the season on loan at Huddersfield. Musonda's an interesting one, Pat, to Celtic. And uh, Kennedy at Newcastle already... Apparently played really well in his first game out, so a real confidence booster for him. By the way, Masonda, massive news in Scotland. Everyone's talking about him. By the way, I think we all know he's going to do very, very well up there. So good news for them, and it'll boost their confidence with a bad game time. And it will be very interesting to see if Mishi Batshuayi gets a good go at Dortmund and what he can do if he is given a good go. Now here we've seen him scoring in the cups mainly, and our trivia last week was about the cups. It was who scored. Who dumped the Blues out here in that game the last time Chelsea did not score at home in an FA Cup tie? It was a very long time ago, and the answer is all the way back to 1999. Dwight York got both. Manchester United won by two goals to nil here at Stamford Bridge. Congratulations to Benjamin, Noah and Declan, who were the first three correct answers that we pulled out. This week's question is, Pat? Well, again, it's one of those long-running ones. We're playing Watford on Monday, obviously, um, and I would like to know who was the last player who scored the winning goal for Watford against the Blues? We'll see how many smart Alex out there know that one. Very long time again. So, are you worried? They brought in Delafeu and a couple of people. They've got a new manager, which always can bring a bounce, unless he hasn't got his things through. And Chelsea not absolutely firing on all cylinders, but presumably there'll be a centre forward. Not time. firing all cylinders just now, but honestly, I, I like to look at the wider. And the wider sphere is, if we play to our best, and got the best and strongest team out with the system that we want to play, I think we'll be fine. I mean, in Hazard and probably a wider game, we'll have a centre forward in there and maybe Pedro or whoever on the right hand side. That'll look like our team again. And I think that's a good time to get started. Watford are going to come and attack Chelsea in this game. They need to, they absolutely need the points. So there's every opportunity that we'll be able to play in the break. So I suspect there will be goals and I think there'll be more for Chelsea. It's interesting, after quite a few weekends where the Blues have been playing before everyone else with the chance to get those points on the board, the next two games are Monday nighters after rivals have had the chance to get points on the board, so it could all look a little bit twitchy on each occasion prior to kickoff. But in terms of our bet this week with our betting partners, William Hill, it is this Olivier Giroud to score any time. Evens. Enhanced odds on that? Why not? Watford versus Chelsea, there will be goals, don't worry. It's a new month, it's February, keep the faith. We'll see you soon. Pedro there to be hit. Oh, beautiful! Good ball into Batshuayi! Brilliant header. William flicked it away from Watson beautifully. Good ball as well! Cesar Azpilicueta! Oh, Batshuayi. Can he settle it once and for all? Yeah. Oh, oh, 